Today we are covering ServiceNow IT Service Management CIS ITSM. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is Which table do all technical configuration items extend from? Option A None of the listed answers. Option B Base configuration item within bracket item. Option C, technical configuration item, technical underscore CMDB underscore CI. Option D, configuration item, CMDB underscore CI. Correct answer is option D. Next question is, how can you customize the process for normal change requests so that no approval is needed from assignment group manager when the risk is low. Option A. In the low risk normal change policy, policy unselect the require assignment group approval checkbox. Option B. In the normal change policy, policy unselect the require assignment group approval for low risk changes checkbox. Option C. In the normal change policy, policy deactivate the low risk manage manager approval decision option d modify the script include change request state model underscore normal so that no approval is needed when the risk is low correct answer is option c next question is according to the ootv implementation you can only create normal change or emergency change from a problem but not standard change. Options are true or false. Correct answer is true. Next question is you can create a standard change from an incident by clicking on the create standard change UI action in an incident form. Options are true or false. Correct answer is true. Next question is all catalog items within a catalog should follow the same fulfillment workflow. Options are true or false. Correct answer is false. Next question is a user with role catalog underscore admin can change user criteria. Options are true or false. Correct answer is true. Next question is which of the following statements is true regarding attachment workflows to requests. Option A. A workflow can be attached to requests but it is not mandatory. Option B. One or more workflows can be attached to a request. Option C. A workflow must be attached to requests. Option D. It is not possible to attach workflows to requests. Correct answer is option C. Next question is what is the purpose of the table knowledge use? Choose two options. Option A. It tracks how many times a knowledge article was viewed. Option B. It tracks how many users marked a knowledge article as helpful. Option C. It tracks how many pages have links to a knowledge article. Option D. It tracks knowledge articles that have been attached to incidents. Option E. It tracks how many questions and answers were submitted to a knowledge article. Correct answer is option A and option D. Next question is which of the following statements is true regarding group type? Option A. Every group has zero or more types. Option B. None of the listed answers. Option C. Every group can have one or more types. Option D. Every group can have one type. Correct answer is option A. Next question is, which integration point is more suitable for integrations with other business systems? Option A. None of the listed answers. Option B. Remote agent. Option C. Platform wave service. Option D. Event management. Correct answer is option C. 
Next question is which of the following best describes CMDB? Option A, a content-centric database to manage knowledge bases. Option B, a centralized database table for all configurations and settings for the ITSM application. Option C, a centralized place for all IT service infrastructure components and their relationships. Option D, a centralized database for all services that are provided by the ITSM service catalogs. Correct answer is option C. Next question is, which table does the incident table extend from? Option A, base underscore incident. Option B, task. Option C, CI underscore incident. Option D, case. Correct answer is option B, 